So today I'll be finding out exactly what 10 pounds, 100 pounds and even 500 pounds gets you on the beautiful island of Santorini. Known for its black and red beaches and also just amazing views everywhere you go. Let's go do some exploring and check out different accommodation at very different price points. Let's do a bit of editing magic and just like that I am now in Santorini. As you can see the sun is shining, it is absolutely boiling. I love Greece so much, I'm so happy to be here. Over the next three nights I'm going to be staying at the different accommodation. Tonight we're actually starting with the 100 pound place. I'm already here. Here, so without any further ado, this is our first place, the 100 pound, but why well, I say 100 pounds, it's actually 94 pounds, 95 pounds. This is our little outdoor area. We have two sun loungers. We have a little bean bag. We have a nice little table and chairs to eat at. Right there is the volcano that erupted in the 16th century. Hopefully we're gonna go hike up the volcano and visit the hot springs, but we have our own hot springs. We have a heated jacuzzi. The Airbnb is basically just one room. As you can see, we have a very nice double bed. It is very comfortable. I think this is a king bed actually. And then this is the mini kitchen area with a microwave and a fridge. They have nicely given us two bottles of wine, some sun cream and a ton of water as well. And there is an espresso machine. And this is the bathroom. As you can see, there's a lovely large mirror. We've got a sink, we've got a toilet and a good size shower with an amazing view out onto the jacuzzi. We're actually in a little town called Pyrgos Solisti, I think you say it. I probably got that so wrong, but I'm not a native Greek speaker, I'm sorry. We're about five minutes away from the main town, Fira. I'm extremely hungry, so I'm gonna hop on the quad and head to go get some food. <sighs> <sighs> So as you have just seen, me and Domi have rented quad bikes so that we can get around the island easily and cheaper than getting taxis. There is a one euro bus that goes to like pretty much everywhere, but it's a lot quicker to have a quad bike. These are both our quads, they're 450cc and they cost us about just under 30 pounds a day, which isn't too bad. We are now just grabbing some food at a place called Cantuni. It's Greek, it should be good. It's really high rated on Google. Okay, so I've now finished lunch. I had tzatziki and pita and fries, and then I had sea bass for May. Me and Domi are now heading to the beach to a place called Wet Stories. I went the other day. Let's go to the beach. We've now come to the beach to a place called Wet Stories. Luckily, we didn't have to pay for this bed because it's so late. I've got myself an Aperol Spritz and Domi has this cocktail. It's like 13 or 10 euros for a cocktail, which really isn't that cheap, but it is a nice place. As you can see, there is black sand and I believe it's from the volcano. Look how beautiful that view is. There is the beach club, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, this is the view. I think right there is the highest point in Santorini. I've decided to stop being a p I'm gonna go for a swim. Also, I forgot to mention, but this place is 20 euros for the whole day if you're not a cheapskate like me and actually wanna lie in the sun because the sun has basically already gone down. Ooh. I don't know why it's so cold. Look how beautiful the view is. And now to ride home, I've just been sat on the beach. Oh my God, you did not just dab it. It's 2021. So we've just arrived home after the most beautiful quad bike ride of my life. It was insane. The sunset has been ridiculous. I don't think the camera quite picks it up. Would you just look at that view from this Airbnb? Okay, so we didn't get up to that much today. However, tomorrow, I think we're gonna go and hike up the volcano. Okay, so we're now heading into town to get some food at this Mexican place, which we got recommended. I was being stupid earlier and I wasn't wearing my helmet, but I have it on now because I've realized I don't want to die. is great if you come Santorini to Fira. Highly recommend to get some Mexican food even though you're in Greece, but it tastes good. They also gave me some churros because I was filming. Ooh, I'm really tired. I did not get much sleep last night because of that stupid storm. 
So this is the place for tomorrow. It's called Youth Hostel Anna. As you can see, it is 11 euros 40, which is basically 10 pounds. It isn't on Airbnb, as you can see, it's booking.com, uh, but we will allow it this one time. One bed in a four bed mixed dormitory room. It really doesn't look that bad in the photos. And for how much I'm paying 11 euros 40 on Santorini, which is a very expensive island, it's supposed to be very close to one of the bus stops as well, which means you can just pay one euro to get into Fira, super easy. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to quickly tell you how exactly you can get five pounds for free. No catch at all. Curve have kindly sponsored today's video. Basically what it is, is a card which puts all your cards into one. I have a business card, a personal card, and a credit card. When I'm in the shop, I just select which card I wanna pay with on the Curve app, it's super simple. And they're giving you a free five pounds when you spend more than one pence. It is so easy. All you need to do is download the app, the link is down below. Sign up for a card, it's completely free. Use my code 5 benm then add it to your Apple Pay or wait for the card to come. Go to the shop, go online, buy anything over one P and it will give you five pounds into your account. It isn't a scam, there's no catch. Another bonus in Santorini, it doesn't charge you to spend money abroad. There's no like silly fees. There's also a ton of other benefits like cash back, airport lounges, insurance, and a really easy way to track all of your finances in one place. There's different levels to the card you can get, but the free one is so good anyways. I highly recommend Curve. I've been using them for years now. Download the app down below, sign up using my code 5 benm and you will get five pounds for free. Do not miss out on this free five pounds. Let's get right back into the video. Good morning everyone, I have just been brought some breakfast by the Airbnb host as you can see We've got some orange juice, also got some bananas, some apples and also some yogurt and granola Alright, so we are leaving the Airbnb So kindly the Airbnb person has let us drop our bags off to a different house However, we don't have a car So this is my current makeshift way of transporting my suitcase Okay, so me and Domi are now having some lunch at a place called Magma in Fira. We're then actually going on a volcano and hot springs boat tour. Me and Domi are now just walking down the narrow streets of Fira. I think we're about to have a beautiful view out into the sea. Look at that view. Oh my days, absolutely crazy. And I believe that is where we're going today. We are now walking down the stairs to go to the old port. I think it's about 500 steps and I'm currently surrounded by a ton of donkeys. Hello mate, you poor thing. Look at all these donkeys just stood here and the path is just completely covered in donkey shite as well. I don't know if you guys can see, but my leg is actually shaking after walking down those stairs. Proper old school sailing boat without any sails. Very useful. Luckily it does have engines, so we will be getting to the volcano today. This actually looks really cool for 20 euros, you know? Mr. Skipper, we've made it onto the boat. We are at the back and there is no one else currently. Fingers crossed no one joins us. And we have set sail. As you can see, we're on our way. Right there is a massive yacht. Absolutely insane. And I believe that is where we're going, right there to the volcano. This is so sick. We are actually on a volcano right now. And this is all the equipment I believe they track the volcanoes with just so we don't die or something. Okay, not quite a thermal spring yet because it's cold. Yeah, stormy. Wow, the water is so orange. So the hot springs aren't actually that hot. I'd say it's more lukewarm and it's really... Get your feet away from me. What the 
Wow! And now we are taking the cable car all the way to the top bit is just left up. 12 euros for both of us to get to the top. That is a rip off. No going back now. <laughs> yeah, if we go down, we're going together. Oh my ow, god. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Included Mr. Domi. Hello. Okay, so we are now in Oya, which is definitely the bougie part of town. We've come here to watch the sunset, as everyone recommends. There is a lot of extremely expensive hotels here, but the view is insane. As you just saw, we sat in the castle ruins, watched sunset. Sunset was absolutely ridiculous. Cannot recommend it enough. If you come to Santorini, please come to Oya and uh, go to the castle ruins. One for life, like to like. We are back in Fira now, just sat having some Slovaki, the best in Santorini apparently. Okay, so we have just arrived. They've just left my keys on the front of the reception. <laughs> Maybe that right, so this is the place we're staying in, Domi for 11 euros each a night. Nice. Because it's quite quiet, we've got our own room and there's four beds. This is a lot better than Pontins, I can tell you that. Okay, bathroom in here really isn't that bad. Bleach in the toilet, everything has been cleaned well. And they have Wi-Fi here, something that our first hotel, which was four stars, couldn't even do properly. First things first is they need to put the bed linen on the bed. Okay, so I'm now in bed. I am so, so tired. Tomorrow things are getting more exciting because we are going to the expensive Airbnb. I will see you guys in the morning. <sighs> Good morning everyone, it is currently about 9am. Here we are in the hostel, the weather is looking so nice today. Bye bye. Broke my brain. Okay, so we've now actually come to the prehistoric town of Akaturi. I managed to get half price because for under 25, if you're not in the EU, you only pay six euros. Brexit means Brexit. See, I saved six euros because we're not part of the EU. I think that's the only good thing that's come from it. Wow, look at this. So I believe all the ruins are from the 16th century BC, which is a long, long time ago. That was when it also got ruined by the volcano eruption, which has obviously preserved everything. to think that thousands of years ago people were actually living here like this is a whole town so we have now arrived at the red beach as you can see the cliffs are actually red the sand is slightly red i don't know what this is but over there is the white beach and as you can see there is a ton of uh, little boat tours coming to have a look i don't think it's a good idea for me to lie down in the sun because i'm extremely burnt if you can't tell and as well as that we need to check into our expensive airbnb Okay, so we have arrived at a Yama Hideaway Villa. Holy moly. This bedroom is ridiculous. As always, we have saved the best till last. This place is absolutely ridiculous. They have put so much attention and detail into this place. It is beautiful. This is a kitchen area, as you can see, we have an oven, all the essential kitchen things, nothing too exciting. There's a little coffee machine. They've given us some tea as well, which is lovely. I love this bar from entrance so much. I don't think I've ever seen a wooden sink before. That is so sick. And the mirror as well with the little lights behind it. We then have a TV, which won't get used. However, this right here 
is the speaker unit and it connects your phone via airplay as there are speakers inside and outside as well this is so cool so basically he has made a shisha out of an old ace of spades uh, champagne bottle, ton of towels, very useful. Here is the second sofa, which is technically also the second bed because there is only actually one bedroom in this villa. Some wardrobe space here as well. I love the design, how you can just about see through and there's lighting behind it. These lights as well are actually made out of cardboard, which I think is so cool, handmade in Holland. And now I need to show you guys the bathroom because this bath, I don't even think I can call it a bath. I don't think it'll be very comfortable, but it is fucking massive. Obviously there is a ton of jets as well, so it's Pretty much a jacuzzi hot tub. They've given us a sewing kit, some dental sets, a candle, two bathrobes, which say the calm side of life. I'm actually kind of vibing with this hat right now. And now for my favorite part of the villa, the outside. So this is the main seating area. You know, you can have dinner with your family or friends. This place is really giving me Bali vibes and we're in Santorini. I am loving life right now. This of course is our pool. Look how big it is. And we've got these two little sun loungers. Well, I say little, these two big sun loungers. <laughs> we may not have an outdoor hot tub, but there is this little section of the pool. You press this button. This is the whole outdoor area. What a beautiful space with all these plants down here as well. I don't know what they're called. Are they just cactuses? I think they are. Okay, so I've just had food and drinks delivered to the villa from the restaurant of the guy that owns this place. Got some shrimp spaghetti, also got some fries. Tommy has ordered a uh, shisha. Morning. Wow, look at this. Unfortunately, our last day in Santorini, our flight is at 3.20. Just now waiting for breakfast to get delivered. It's not that easy to get food delivered on this island. So the fact that you can just order from his restaurant, amazing. So I don't know if you can hear me, it's very windy, but I've just got myself a salmon club sandwich. I'm gonna eat my food and then we need to head to the airport.